Sergei Prokofiev, Romeo and Juliet, Suites 1 and 2. A ballet suite is a collection of dances extracted from a complete ballet. Such a suite is not to be danced, but rather performed in a concert setting. For a composer, a ballet suite gets your music out beyond the ballet stage and allows you to get some play for your music, as concert performances are much more easy to come by than fully staged ballet performances. No doubt such thoughts fill the head of Sergei Prokofiev, 1891 to 1953, when he extracted the suites numbers one and two from his ballet Romeo and Juliet in 1936. He had composed the ballet in 1935. Its planned performance by the Bolshoi Ballet in Moscow had been one of the incentives the Soviet government had used to get Prokofiev to permanently return to the Soviet Union after having lived abroad for 18 years. What an epic mistake that turned out to be, moving back to Soviet Russia, just as Joseph Stalin was revving up his murderous great terror. What was Prokofiev thinking? But move back, Prokofiev did, just in time to find out that the Bolshoi had rejected his ballet and that no other ballet company would touch it. The excuse given was that Prokofiev had altered Shakespeare's story. He had initially given it a happy ending. But in fact, no Soviet ballet company was willing to work with Prokofiev's modernistic music in the increasingly paranoid artistic climate of the time. So in order to get his music out there, Prokofiev prepared his suites, which featured a total of 14 episodes from the ballet. For our information, Prokofiev issued a third suite in 1942. Carl St. Clair, who is conducting this program, will perform selections from the first two suites. And while at the time of this recording, we do not know exactly which episodes he intends to perform, I am convinced that one of them will be the death of Tybalt, the seventh and last episode in suite number one. Tybalt is the Capulet Bravo that Romeo fights and kills in a duel to music that is appropriately exciting, violent, and ultimately deathly. We join the episode about one minute in and we'll listen up to Romeo's fatal thrust. George Gershwin, a symphonic picture of Porgy and Bess, arranged by Robert Russell Bennett. Gershwin composed the music for the opera Porgy and Bess in 1935, when he was 37 years old. It is his magnum opus, his great masterwork. Over the years, various arrangements and suites have been made from 
the score of the opera, but none by Gershwin himself, who died all too young at the age of 38. The best known of these arrangements is the so-called symphonic picture created by Robert Russell Bennett in 1942, which is halfway between a genuine orchestral work and a greatest hits compendium. Robert Russell Bennett, 1894 to 1981, was at the time he created the symphonic picture of Porgy and Bess, the single most highly respected arranger slash orchestrator of Broadway and Hollywood musicals. His orchestration is, to my taste, a tad bit over the top, but as an orchestral tour de force, it is guaranteed to thrill. As an example, let's hear the episode that features the tune, I Got Plenty of Nothing. Thank you.